Oh boy. What is this? Kids screaming in the background. This is gonna be a cool one. I know what this is. Good old FedEx dropped her off. Let's go check it out. It's heavy. Oh, not too heavy, but it's heavy. For, for an RC thing, it's heavy. RC thing, question mark? Well, this is gonna be a tough one to show on camera. Uh, uh, and we have no space. Our desk is a mess. I don't know how we're gonna do this. BRB. A few moments later. Ta-da! We have space. Let's, uh, let's see this thing. Still not enough space, but closer and clean. Let's get this guy open. Well, now I don't know where any of my stuff is. Where's my exactto's? Guess we'll use this. See if I can move this camera a little bit. There, even better. Took some maneuver. Bam! What is this? Nice texture. Good quality. Let's see. Turtle Labs. If anybody knows what Turtle Labs is, you know what this is. That's some big hardware. Jingle jingle. <gasps> what is that? Look at how sick that looks. Oh man, that looks good. So, if you haven't guessed already, it's a new work bench. Not really a bench, it goes on top of your bench, a work area that you can uh, move around. I know it's hard to see, it's, it's kind of too big for the camera. Let's get this box out of here. Let's move this light maybe. Here we go. Anyway, I think we can bring this guy back down now. Come back down to earth. The colors in that is just awesome. Just the, the swirl job. Yeah. Even the bottom is done. Talk about quality, guys. It just looks good. Sorry for the, the light here. But without that light, you don't get the, you don't see it. You just don't see the, the color. So good, so good. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get this all pulled off of our uh, zip ties and get it put together. Cause there are a bunch of different tool accessories and whatnot, uh, as far as holders are concerned. Yeah. We're excited. So this is the Turtle Laboratories Field Bench. It's basically a portable hobby workstation workbench uh, that gives you a nice rigid surface to work on and then you can pick it up, move it, put it somewhere else so you get your uh, desk space back, your workbench space back. Or if you're going to different events, you're able to kind of, if you can you know, have somewhere to put it, you, you can take the whole bench, put it in the back of your truck or your SUV or your car. And when you get to your location, you have your whole workbench still with all your tools set up and everything. You just pick it up, move it, carry it. They do offer two different uh, versions, one in aluminum and the others in steel. We got the steel. Uh, it's For steel, it's actually not too heavy, but it is very rigid, which is nice. Uh, the aluminum one, I believe they mentioned having kind of a little bit more flex, um, but this is definitely not, <laughs> not doing that. Also, this is the top panel. Space for all your tools. There is an a build instruction video and we'll link to that down below. They do also offer on their site uh, bright green, black, red, blue, a swirled shocker yellow, and a swirled lollipop purple. This swirled red, again, they uh, they made this custom for us. They also shortened it up. So they have offered this in the past, apparently, because I asked them uh, if they have something a little bit shorter, because my, my workspace isn't very deep. And he said that he did have one, but it's not something that they normally sell. But if you were specifically looking for one, you could probably reach out and they would make something work for you uh, as far as the more shallow version. But the normal workbench dimensions are 27 wide, which this still is, by 18 inches deep. So you can see here, oh, we're a little wider here. We're 28 wide on this one. I don't remember if he, uh... oh, I think work dimensions is talking from the inside. Yeah, from the inside. So 27 by 18 deep. 
So ours is a little shallow. Um, part, part of this also is the, the tool rack is up there. So that's why this appears to be more shallow than it is. Just keep that stuff in mind. The two different materials, uh, aluminum and steel, the, the main difference is that the aluminum is lighter weight, but it's non-magnetic. So nothing will stick to it from a magnetic standpoint. Uh, it's just as, you know, just as sturdy. It's, it's not gonna flex. Uh, the steel is a little bit more heavy, um, but it is obviously gonna be more stable, uh, but it's also magnetic. So if you want something magnetic, which we did, go with the steel. They also will do deals where if you're trying to get a bunch made for your shop or you're really looking for uh, maker space or really branding yourself, you can get your logo put on them. We opted not to. We weren't really it. You know, it's mostly going to be, unfortunately, going to be covered by our, our blue work mat or silicone work mat. Um, so that logo would be covered anyway. So we weren't really worried about that. But we did want the, the cool red look. But if you want a logo so that you can sell them in your hobby shop with your logo on them or something along those lines, you can talk to them and pr they'll probably hook you up with some wholesale pricing. Definitely a cool item to uh, have at your local store. Yeah, we, let's get this thing together. So when you normally get one of these things, just the bare bones version, you're just gonna get a lower tray, the side rails, uh, these guys here, and um, then the upper deck as well, and, and the logo, right? But this this stuff is some extra tool caddies or whatever you wanna call them, just different tool accessories that we went ahead and got to make sure that we have a place to put all of our different tools and hang our different things. So uh, this is not the standard kit. This has some of the upgrade stuff, just so you're aware. So the first thing you're going to have to do is snip out all of your zip ties so that we can uh, get access to everything. There it all is. And then our uh, big old bag of hardware and some rubber gaskets, some rubber stripping for the handle grips in the front of the, the tray here. So we'll go ahead and show you some of the other stuff that they make. This is the uh, general tinkering bench. So it's basically for tools and whatnot, but they also make a model building bench and they actually have different versions of that depending on the type of paints you use. So they have a Tamiya, a Vallejo and a Citadel, which have uh, the spots for different um, paint, you know, uh, cans, paint, tubs, paint, bottles, bottles, bottles is the word. And it's nice to have a bench like this where all your tools can stay organized. And again, the whole idea is that you can literally just pick it up and take it anywhere when you're done working or if you need to move somewhere else, say you want to go outside and work or, you know, the wife doesn't want you working on the dining room table anymore. You can take it out to the garage, take it to your local hobby store when you're working, uh, doing race night. It's, it's awesome that it's portable. Also, if you have stuff all over the bench, not just your tools, but stuff, you can pick it up and it'll all stay within your bench area. How awesome is that? All of the holes are 0.55 inches in diameter. These larger holes here. The powder coat finish is something they're calling a uh, black frost. It's kind of a charcoal vein color and uh, uses prismatic powders. And all the hardware is stainless, obviously. So let's, yeah, let's get this thing together. A few moments later. So here's what we got. It's all put together. So the basic model doesn't come with any of this stuff. Let's just, I'll just show you what the basic model is. What is the back piece here? So this is what you get with the base model. And again, ours is a little more shallow than normal, but um, yeah, this thing is awesome. I can't say enough about it. It's super high quality. The paint and finish is fantastic. All the powder coating is great. Um, we just the instructions which we'll link to in the description below as well he has a video uh, showing how to build it it's obviously not too difficult uh, but we went ahead and opted to put our washers or finished washers and flatheads on the inside they show them on the outside but we like it cleaner looking on the inside so you can put those however you want it comes with these little rubber um, seals or gaskets or whatever you want to call them but they uh, go into the handle spots along the front as well here so that you have a nice kind of cushioned area where your arm rests this is for your bottles. So like if you have different paint bottles or lubricants, you know, your oils and stuff, that's what that's for. And uh, yeah, tons of different spots for all your different tools. Now, there's a bunch of different accessories. One of them is this guy, which you can mount here. And this is for your uh, pliers and snips and handled, uh, two-handled type things. You just kind of stick them in there and it'll hold them. So that's available. There's also a small wrench, a uh, socket wrench holder, sorry, this is for sockets. The socket organizer uh, can hold up to 20 sockets, then just put your ratchet down in the middle, so that's cool. 
There's also a small wrench holder for just like your regular box wrenches. You just hang them on there. Uh, this one holds 10 from large to small. You can see they space accordingly. So that's cool. There's a larger, just kind of do anything holder. Uh, this one's bent because we were trying to bend it to see if we could kind of reshape these. And you can, so you can hang it like this and just kind of slide, rolls a tape or whatever under there. Or you can just mount it like this and then bend them flat so they're flat down and have kind of a, uh, here, kind of a hanger hook, right? So you can kind of put them ho however you'd like, which is nice. And they are, they are steel, these ones are, so you're good to shape them. So that's super cool. There's also some smaller versions, right? Some two wides versus four wides. And then they also have this, which is basically a tablet holder or instruction manual holder or any sort of flat documents, or even like if you're model building, you can uh, put your sprues and hang your sprues in there. It basically just goes on the back. And uh, yeah, you're able to kind of throw your tablet in there and watch, watch my YouTube videos while you build. And then there's some other things which we did not get but maybe in the future we'll get them. There is a battery bank mount and it goes in the back and it allows you to zip tie like a battery bank for lights. So if you have uh, light USB powered lights, uh, magnet lights that stick to it and you know, you can have little bendy things, which we probably will get some. I think we have one somewhere we should have to find it's battery operated, like regular like triple A's, but some will do USB and you plug them into a battery, uh, battery bank. You can uh, mount it in the back here. There is also a jumper wire hanger. We'll show that here. And you can use that for all your different wires if you're trying to organize wires or even zip ties. If you use zip ties a lot, it basically has 17 different little slots for you to hold wires into. And then there is a soldering station mount for the KSGER T12 soldering station. And uh, you can mount it to the side of your unit and um, yeah, it keeps it out of the way. And who knows, maybe they'll come out with some more stuff in the future, but this really is kind of the answer for, they have everything. There's not really much more I can think of. If you can think of anything that you would like to see able to be mounted to the station or, you know, just little accessories that would make sense, post them in the comments below. Also, go to their channel. Again, I'll link it to it in the description. Go to their channel. They deserve more subscribers. I think as of this video, they have like two. Two subscribers. Are you kidding me? But this is a premium product. This is, it's beautiful. It's so well done. And it is a little pricey, but again, it's a premium product. That's what you expect. And their customer support, I, I had sent them a message and asked a bunch of questions on what stuff I needed to get and um, about the custom depth. And they man, they were so helpful. I mean, there's just no excuse for them having just two subscribers. Um, I think they focus on their craft, not marketing. So, although I found these guys through a Facebook ad. So they are trying to market, so that's awesome. But uh, yeah, hopefully some of you guys out there that are looking for a premium high quality workbench workstation that's portable like that's one of the cool things about this thing is you just pick it up and move um this is worth looking at guys again i know it's pricey i haven't even said the price but if you've looked already you know it's pricey the base model uh is 180 dollars so but again it's all it's american made it's all made here in the u.s it's high quality steel or aluminum depending on which kind you want i think the aluminum might, might be cheaper let me check so the aluminum one is 180, the steel one is 185. So $5 difference, but it all depends on whether you would rather have a little bit more lightweight or whether you'd rather have it magnetic. And we decided we wanted ours to be magnetic. We just like the idea of being able to, you know, stick tools on it or, um, you know, we use magnets for a lot of things. So having a magnetic is, is important to us. Magnetic lights, stuff like that. Anyway super quality product and even if you're just a model builder and you're not an RC guy or maybe you do both again they make a different upper deck for model building and for paints they hold all the different paint cans or paint bottles and um, yeah guys we're gonna get this thing set up uh, with the stuff we do have we do need more tools we don't have all the tools we want and we've got like a mixed match of different brand tools and we just bought stuff along the way at some point we want to kind of consolidate and just get the ideal tools we want set up and uh, yeah well, we're gonna do that but for now we're just gonna populate it with the stuff we normally use and get our accessories mounted, and uh, yeah, we'll be back. If you want to take I mean, how awesome is this? All the different places to put all your tools, awesome accessories for hanging wrenches and sockets. We don't, we don't really use sockets too much, but you can put other cool stuff on there. We're using this as our pen holder that doesn't, for pens that don't have clips for now. Um, who knows? You can use it for whatever, but how awesome, right? And then you can just pick it up and take it away with you. Put it wherever you want, obviously. Our Dremel might fall over, but 
everything else would stay in place. It's a pretty slick setup. Turtle Labs, guys, check it out. Again, if you're looking for something premium quality, this is it, man. It's so nice to be able to have it set up in a way that is uh, organized. This is not very organized, but it's way more organized than I normally am. I mean, look at these boxes. That's for shipping stuff out later. But having it a little bit more organized, man, it just feels, I feel, I feel a lifting weight coming off of my shoulders. I've got so much more of a clean space to work with. Like all my same stuff is up here and I can move it and get rid of it. Go put it upstairs, go put it in the closet, outside on the patio, on the kitchen counter while the kids watch cartoons, in the garage on your real workbench. Wait, no, that is a real workbench. On your big workbench with no tools because we just moved not that long ago. In the engine bay of your super dirty classic car, the back of the wife's SUV while you're camping or at the track, out at the racetrack. Well, backyard racetrack, except it's broken because we had to put in a sprinkler system. Well, fix the sprinkler system and dig up my beautiful berm. You'll see what's leaking right there. Uh, anyway, at the racetrack. At the racetrack. Whew. Lying in bed while you're sick with COVID? On the toilet? No, on the toilet. Or like a normal person in your workspace. But you can't put it anywhere. I don't know. It's pretty slick. Even got my rock candy. Yum. Just kidding. We're not going to keep that there. Anyway, check it out, guys. Thank you.